What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back, moving on to the next question. This is a multiple choice question. So for what value or values of A are the lines A squared X minus four Y plus three equals zero and three X plus A Y minus two equals zero perpendicular? And then we got these uh, four different choices over here. So remember when two lines are perpendicular, what does that mean? It means that their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. So what we can do is we could take both of these lines. So I'll start off with this line. And let's find what their slopes are. And the way we can do that is putting it in y equals mx plus b form. So what I'll do is I'll bring the 4y over. We want to isolate for the y. So I'll bring the negative 4y over. That'll become positive 4y. Then I can divide everything by 4. And notice the y would be by itself. So then y would equal a squared over 4x plus 3 over 4. So notice that the slope of this line is a squared over 4, right? That expression right there. That's the m in front of the x. And then same thing with this line here. What I'm going to do, isolate for the y again, so I'll bring everything over, so we'll have a y. I'm going to keep it on the left side, bring everything over. It'll be negative 3x plus 2. And then I can divide everything by a to get the y by itself. So we'll have y equals negative 3 over a. That's the m value, x plus 2 over a. So the slope of this line is negative 3 over a, like that. So... If I write out these slopes here, we'll have m equals a squared over 4. That's the slope of this line. And then the slope of this line is um, negative 3 over a, like that. And we got to find out for what values of a are these lines perpendicular. Well, remember, if they're perpendicular, they're negative reciprocals of one another. So if we took two lines, let's say that one of the lines had a slope of 3 over 5, then a perpendicular line to it would have a slope of negative 5 over 3, right? Negative reciprocal. So what we can do, if we want to make both of these slopes equal, we could just take one of the slopes flip it, and then change the sign. So if we wanted to take this slope and make it equal to this one, we would just flip it, change the sign, and it would become positive 3 over 5. And this would be 3 over 5. And then they would equal. Or we could take this slope, flip it, uh, and then change the sign, and we'll have negative 5 over 3. And that would equal this slope. So if we flip one of these and change the sign, we can make it equal to the other. Then both of the slopes would equal if they're perpendicular, right? If the original lines, if the original slopes are perpendicular, we could flip one of them and then they would equal. So for example, we could flip this and we would end up with, we would flip it and change the sign so we would end up with a over three. And this then equals this. And now we have an equation where we could solve for a. Or we could flip this, change the sign, so we would end up with, um, notice it's all positive here. If we flip it, change the sign, so we'd have a negative. Let's put it up top. So we'd have negative 4 over a squared. This is the negative reciprocal of that. And now since we flip this, change the sign, this now is going to equal this. And both of these are actually the same equation. They're going to give us the same answer. So notice when we cross multiply here, we'll have 3a squared equals 4a. And 3a squared minus 4a is equal to 0. Notice now we could solve for a. We could factor out an a. And so notice a can be 0 or a or 3a minus 4 would be 0, which would make a equal 4 over 3. Or if we did it this way, notice we'll have negative 4a equals negative 3a squared, like that. Right? When we cross multiply, bring this over, 
we'll have 3a squared minus 4a is equal to 0, which would end up being that right there. Right? And then we get the same solutions for this. a is equal to 0, or a equals 4 over 3. So it doesn't matter which one you flip, change the sign form, make it equal to the other, you're going to end up getting the same values, a equals 0 and a equals 4 over 3. And so if we go to our multiple choice solutions, notice that actually none of the solutions have a equals 0. But one of them does have positive 4 over 3, and it's this one. And so that is the answer. Now, if it didn't have this and it had 0 here instead, it would still be the answer. It could be 0 or 4 over 3. So 0 wasn't included in the solutions, but it is a possible value as well. And if it was 0, then what would happen actually is we would end up having, if we plugged in 0 for a here, the line that we would get would be 3x minus 2 equals 0, which would be x equals 2 over 3. Notice that that's a vertical line. And if we plugged in 0 for a here, we would end up having negative 4y plus 3 equals 0. If we isolate for the y, we would have y equals 3 over 4, which would be a horizontal line. And a horizontal line and a vertical line, those are perpendicular. That's why that a equals 0 works out as well. And then if a would be 4 over 3, then uh, you could test it out, right? So we could plug it in to, uh, to both of these. And then we could test out what the slopes would be. So if we plug in 4 over 3 here, 4 over 3 to the power 2 would be, um, what, 16 over 9? x minus 4y plus 3 equals 0. And then if we plugged in 4 over 3 here, we would have 3x plus 4 over 3y minus 2 equals 0. And then we would have to put in y equals mx plus b form. So we could bring the negative 4y over. I become positive 4y, divide everything by 4. And then uh, the y would be by itself. And then 16 over 9 divided by 4 is like multiplied by 1 over 4. This goes into that 4 times. So we would have 4 over 9x plus 3 over 4. That would be this line. And then over here, if we isolate for the y, bring everything over, we'd have 4 over 3y equals negative 3x plus 2. Divide everything by 4 over 3. So we'd have y equals negative 3. It's like negative 3 over 1 divided by 4 over 3 would give us negative 9 over 4. x. And then 2 divided by 4 over 3 would give us what? 6 over 4, 3 over 2. Right? 2 over 1 divided by uh, 4 over 3 is like 2 over 1 multiplied by 3 over 4, which would be 6 over 4, which would be 3 over 2. And then notice, this is the line. And then notice if we compare the slopes, 4 over 9, negative 9 over 4, those are negative reciprocals of uh, one another. So these lines are perpendicular. All right, so once you get the solutions with this kind of question, you can also check your answer.